new saddleman seat if you guys didn't watch the previous videos there it is brand new saddleman road sofa with backrest i took the backrest off because a couple of people commented saying that uh it doesn't look good with the backrest well what's the problem you just take the backrest off seat is looking absolutely amazing super comfortable just so you guys know this road sofa has actually gel in the driver's portion as well as the passenger portion of the seat and i got the one with silver stitching and the silver logo this thing looks badass but stay tuned because also a lot of you guys said well this seat doesn't fit kind of your tempo per, you know performance bagger you know theme well, I'm getting another seat. This seat, as I explained to you guys, this seat is going to be for my long distance trips. As far as right now, that's what I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna be doing some long distance trips, including a cross country trip here in a couple months in July. Probably about 10, 11,000 miles with my good boy Sandy from Holy Ship. Anyway, I think without the backrest, I think even with the backrest, seat looks awesome. But as you guys could see, if you take the backrest out, seat looks fine. Seat looks absolutely awesome. So I love it. It is super comfortable, but stay tuned because we are getting one more seat for Blackjack. I am going to be getting a Saddleman step-up seat, tuck and roll. Pretty much the same one that I had on Mad Max. I'm gonna be getting one for Blackjack. So when we're riding around town, I'll have the step up on there. And we're when we're doing long trips, I'm gonna have the road sofa with the backrest. That's why I wanted a backrest for some extra lumbar support. And then we also did the Chromeworks slip-ons. Sound really amazing. And we also did the Custom Dynamics Radius Curve License Plate with Chrome filler lights and the Rick Rack filler light panel covers. All of these products, the seat, the lighting, and the slip-ons, um, I have links down below in the video description. So if you guys wanna check out exactly what I have and purchase it, you're more than welcome to. Thank you so much, appreciate it. But anyway, we got more rain coming. Unbelievable, what else is new? That's pretty much what I've been saying for the past several months and also last year, but this video is actually not about that cool stuff. This video is actually about, I want to get into, dive into the screen here, dive into the infotainment system and show you guys what I have set up as far as the parameters you can change for custom mode. Because I told you guys, I think it was a couple videos ago, when I put this in custom mode, wow, like sport mode is fast, but custom mode is even better. So we're gonna dive in, I'm gonna show you guys my settings. So if you guys wanna mimic those settings, you're more than welcome. All right, so if you go over to the bike, if you got a brand new 2024, you don't have to put the power on over there. If you wanna save some juice from uh, your battery dying, right here, just push on that button and your bike will kick on. And that's pretty much, I think it's uh, accessory mode. So this way, like all your, lights and stuff or you know like the main power doesn't come onto the bike so i'm going to wait until uh the infotainment system boots up and by while that's doing its thing i want to tell you another tidbit of information here because i've been looking at this rotor and i said I, i'm saying to myself like sitting in a garage here i'm like this rotor has to be bigger than last year previous standard models and guess what it is bigger the standard model 2024 Road Glide Street Glide, the front rotors are 12 and a half inches across. The previous year models, I think, are either 11 and a half or 11 and three quarter. These are 12 and a half. So, right from there, even though I'm assuming they're, they have the same brake calipers as previous year models, but the rotors are bigger. So, if your rotors are bigger, you're definitely going to have better stopping power. On top of like everything else, all the changes that they did to the bike, liquid cooled heads. I mean, list goes on and on and on. Love this bike, love how it looks. Uh, we're gonna be doing a lot more things to it in the next several weeks. Stay tuned. At the end of this video, I am going to tell you exactly what's happening to 
Blackjack, that is the new name of the bike, Blackjack, our 2024 Black and Chrome Road Glide. So, okay, so this booted up, so we're going to hit that hamburger button right there, and we're going to dive into that cog wheel right there. We're going to go down into, oops, road modes, and then you see you got road, sport, custom A, and rain. We're going to go to custom A, and then you click right to go over where the pen is. And then, do you want to copy from another mode? We're going to click no. Then we're going to go engine map. That's where we're going to start. So these are my settings. And if you want to copy them, go right ahead. And I want to know, guys, after you do this, if you copy my settings, please take the bike for a ride. Ride it first in sport mode for a couple miles. And then turn it into the custom A mode. And please tell me down below in the comments, what do you think is faster? Is it sport or is it custom? My answer is custom A. Definitely, you could definitely feel that it's faster in custom A than sport mode. So right here in the engine map, I have sport. You could choose road, rain, or sport. I have it in sport. Back out of that. And then we're going to go down to engine braking. So engine braking, I don't want, I don't want to have too much engine braking and I don't want it to be too little engine braking. So I have it set right there on base. Then we're gonna go down to throttle response. I have that set on max. You could also change the throttle response, but if if you're doing a custom mode, well, I don't know why you wouldn't want max throttle response. If you want anything lower than that, then you could just use rain mode. So I have that set to max. Then go down to traction control. I have that on sport because that's the least the computer will intervene with the traction control. On road and rain, it's going to intervene more. So I have it on sport. And then anti-lock braking, I have that on road because also if you have it on rain mode, the anti-lock braking is going to intervene uh, a lot more. And that's it, guys. Really one, two, three, four, five, five settings that you can change in custom A. Then you could back out of that and make sure these three boxes are checked. Oop, I unchecked it. Make sure these three boxes are checked. So this way, when you go through your menu down here with the mode button, which is right there, you'll be able to see road, sport, uh, sorry, rain, road, sport, and custom A. If you have these unchecked, you will not see them. All right, so those are my settings. I have 37 miles only on this bike. That is absolutely insane. If you want to shut the accessory power off again, you just... Press down on that button, hold it, and everything will shut off. So guys, this is what's going on with the bike. Let me just give you a brief rundown as far as what upgrades are gonna be happening and kind of a time frame of when they're gonna be happening. Um, also on the seat, like I said, the backrest, some people were saying, uh, it doesn't look too cool with the backrest. Well, you know what? If you have the backrest and you have that lumbar support on long trips, you're going to be very happy you have it. And if you don't like the backrest, you could take the backrest off, as I did. I have it up over there on top of my cabinet. And when I go on a really long trip, I'll put the backrest on. So it's detachable. It's not where it's permanent and you, you, know, you just have to leave it on there. You can take it off whenever you want and put it back on on a long trip. So this is what's pretty much going to happen uh, soon here. I have some uh, possibly big news about uh, something that I'm going to let you know uh, at a later date. But what's going to be happening is I think what I've been hearing recently that we're probably going to have some tuning available. Some dyno tuning um, is going to be available for the new models in about probably three, four, five weeks, something like that. So stay tuned for that because as soon as that is available and Mike over at Get Lowered could, can do the tuning on these new models, we're going to slap a cam in here. I'm going to tell you that we're definitely only going to go stage two. We're, I'm, I am not going big bore on this build. Another thing I will tell you, I'm also going to keep it belt drive. I'm not going to a chain drive. What I'm going to do is, like I said, I'm going to do some nice performance modifications to this bike, suspension, engine, and some nice performance modifications, but it's not going to be to where I have to change a lot of this stuff, you know, down the line 
as far as, you know, changing out maybe the clutch, changing out the, um, you know, going to a chain drive. We're going we're gonna to keep it modest as far as the power goes, but it's still going to have a hell of a lot more horsepower than it does now. So I just kind of, like I said, I kind of want to do a tamer build. I'm going to focus more on the looks and aesthetics of this bike. Um, and I think the stage two is perfect. We already have liquid cooling. We already have the fan on the oil cooler, on the stock oil cooler. So cooling isn't going to be an issue. Um, I will tell you the cam. Uh, I definitely know which one it is, but stay tuned for that. It's going to be a nice surprise. It's, I'll tell you this. It's not going to be a cam that I've ever used before. I've heard it. It sounds amazing. Um, it's pretty gnarly, so stay tuned for that. So we're going to do a stage two. As far as what exhaust yet, I'm not sure. Uh, but if you are looking for just something kind of to stay stock, I would definitely highly recommend the Chromeworks slip-ons because they sound amazing and they look fantastic. Also, we're going to be changing out the bars here in a couple weeks. I don't want to also ruin the surprise, so stay tuned for that. We're going to be changing out the bars. But probably the first thing that we're going to do is our friends over at EPM Suspensions down in South Jersey, they have my suspension in already. It's been ordered like literally a couple months ago. It's finally in. So we're going to be doing that. Sandy's actually waiting for a rear shock for his bike. Sandy's going to be getting his suspension done at the same time. We're going to bring you that video. So that's probably going to be the first thing that's going to be done to my 2024 Road Glide Blackjack is the suspension. I will tell you this, I wanna keep kind of what brand, what manufacturer I'm using to a surprise, but I will tell you this, I've never used this company before, just like the camshaft and just like the suspension and uh, actually the bar setup, I've used it on a previous motorcycle. But the suspension, I have never used this brand before it's supposedly really good, so I can't wait to actually test it, review it, and tell you guys what my thoughts are on it. Um, you know, so I'll bring all that news to you guys. But that's the first thing that's going to be done to the bike is the suspension. And then probably I'm going to say the bars and then the stage two. Kind of in that order uh, when things start, you know, coming out and making their way into, into the world, into the, the new 2024 models. If you guys are interested in any of these items that I mentioned, the seat, the lighting, the exhaust, all the links will be down below in the video description so you guys could check out exactly what I'm using on my bike. And if you would, please let me know, put it into custom mode, do the settings that I did, and I wanna know down below in the comments what you guys think. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you later. And we'll see you on the next one. Peace out.